President Donald Trump adores Twitter. This should not be a surprise to anyone who has been paying attention to American politics over the last three years or so, nor should it surprise anyone who knows anything about Donald Trump. Throughout his life and career he has displayed all the textbook indications of narcissism, and Twitter is the perfect place for someone of that personality type to feel at home. You are forced to express your opinions very briefly, and you have the opportunity to do it very frequently. Everything is short, so you do not have to have a long attention span. There are lots of people shouting, certain that they are right, and everyone else is wrong. It is Trump's dream. Sadly, it seems that despite his love of Twitter, Trump is very bad at using it. There are a great many things that can result in the national and international humiliation of a sitting president, but perhaps never before has a total misunderstanding of how the internet works been responsible for that. Recently, Donald Trump The man who is somehow still our president of the United States and leader of the free world made a mistake on Twitter so incredibly embarrassing it is better even than Kavfif. Twitter removed a campaign video posted by President Donald Trump after Warner's Bros. Pictures complained about the use of the score from its 2012 movie The Dark Knight Rises. Trump on Tuesday tweeted the video, which featured images of Democrats Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton juxtaposed with images from Trump's two years in office. The text, set against the movie's score, read, first they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they call you a racist. Donald J. Trump. Your vote. Prove them all wrong. Warner Bros said use of the score from the Batman movie starring Christian Bale was unauthorized. Dot that's right. Trump thought he could buy people's votes, just like he has bought everything in his life, with the billions he was handed by his father, so he uploaded a video to his Twitter account simply instructing people to vote for him in 2020 so that he can spend another four years wallowing and generally doing awful things in the Oval Office. And he got shut down because he forgot to ask for permission to use the music from Batman. You could not make this stuff up. Nor would you want to, in fact.